Hey guys, 8 mini QD here. Today, I've brought an interesting 3D trigonometry question with me. Let's have a look at the diagram. An observer observes two towers, one due north of height 80 meters, and the other on a bearing of theta less than 90 degrees of height 120 meters. The angles of elevation of the two towers are 40 and 36 degrees respectively. The towers are 150 meters apart on a horizontal plane. Now, the question is, A. Find an expression in terms of 1050 for the distance of the observer from the base of the first tower. B. Find an expression in terms of 1054 for the distance of the observer from the base of the second tower. And C. Calculate the value of theta to the nearest minute. First of all, for those of you who find it very difficult to understand 3D diagrams, it might be a very good idea to draw your own bird's eye view diagram. A bird's eye view diagram is an elevated view of an object from above as if you were a bird. Since the first tower is due north and the second tower has a bearing of an angle that is less than 90 degrees, this is an example of how a bird's eye view diagram should look like in our case. Even though it doesn't represent any information that's relevant to the z-axis, it is still a very useful tool to understand where the landmarks are and their relative positions. So, using both diagrams, since the angle of elevation from the observer to the first tower is 40 degrees, the size of the angle between the line of sight and the tower should be 50 degrees as the sum of the internal angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, 1050 is equal to OA over 80, which makes OA equals to 80 1050 degrees. Similarly, for the other tower, angle between the line of sight and the tower is 54 degrees, and 1054 is equal to OB over 120, so OB is equal to 120 1054. Now that answers first two parts of our problem. To find the bearing of the second tower, we need to use the triangle that is on the horizontal plane, which can easily be obtained if we have a bird's eye view diagram. It is probably a good idea to remember that for most of the 3D trigonometry problems, it is likely that you will need to apply Pythagoras theorem if the triangle we have is right angled triangle, or cosine rule if the triangle we have is non right angled. Pythagoras theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. Cosine rule states that the square of the length of any side of a triangle equals to the sum of the square of the other two sides minus twice of their product multiplied by the cosine of their included angle. In this problem, since the triangle that we have on the horizontal plane is non right angle triangle, we need to use cosine rule. So if we use cos rule, 150 squared is equal to OA squared plus OB squared minus 2 times OA, OB, and cosine theta. Once we rearrange this expression, this is what we get for the cosine theta. If we substitute the values that we have obtained from the earlier parts, the value of cosine theta is approximately equal to 0 0.44, and if we cosine inverse this value, theta is equal to 63 degrees and 52 minutes. Q, E, 